Okay, so day three, here we go. We've got uh, two workouts for you today and we're gonna bring you two workouts every single day. One of them's gonna be body weight and one of them's gonna be using the equipment. So none of you have got an excuse. So what you can do, you can go on the website, you can pick loads of different videos, you can put them all together, it can be body weight one day, it can be equipment the next day, and then all of a sudden you'll be pick and mixing all your workouts, making it, tailor making it to what you want to do, how you want to work, how you feel when you get up. Some days we get up, we don't want to do weighted workouts, we want to do body weight workouts, some days we haven't got equipment to use. So this way, there are no excuses, you can go onto the website, four minutes here and there, put them all together and create your own workouts. How good is that? I didn't think of it, Freddie did, but I'd love to take credit. If any of you are wondering why I'm wearing this skirt, it's because I went into uh, <coughs> Lululemon for gym gear, essential gym gear, needed to work out, came up with skirt. <laughs> uh, impractical? Absolutely. Sexy? Definitely. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing this. I'm not going to train in this, but I thought I'd give you all a quick preview of the new skirt. Okay, so. Four minutes, we're gonna get on it. We're gonna start with the weighted and then we're gonna move on to the body weight. So I'm doing them all, so if I'm sweating, I apologize. And then we're gonna do three minutes of abs. Those of you who are feeling it in the abs today, if you wanna miss it out, that's fine. You can do them tomorrow. Um, then after this, we're gonna talk about diet because a lot of you have been on the website, on the Facebook, asking me about what I eat, how I train, what I do at home. I'm gonna share all that with you. Do not worry, I am going to share that with you. I'm gonna break it all down. We're gonna talk about it, talk about my lifestyle, what I do on a daily basis, but that's after. First of all, we all need to train. So go and get your trainers. Meet me in the living room. Let's go. Woo. so hard I'm sweating so you should be sweating press ups were solid they were really hard um, I'll show you some variations now I'm going to slow it down for those of you that have asked me to do that so first things first using your sandbag again if it's heavier it's going to be harder the lighter it is um, the easier it is or you don't have to use a sandbag so we did a row making sure back's nice and straight row back elbows nice and close so row Drop it down, stretch the floor, clean, press, and then we sit back, oh, <laughs> squat and press. So, 
One round. Clean. Press. Squat. And press. Okay. If you haven't got a sandbag, you can do squat jumps. That's absolutely fine. Just do that. Or use the body weight workout that we're going to do after this. Um, second one, press ups off the ball. Seemed like a good idea at the time, let me tell you. I was like, oh, that looks like a good exercise. Absolutely kill, so I apologise. So, one hand on the ball. So, go down, come up, stepping over, which is very hard in slow motion. Back down, come back up. If you haven't got a ball, you can do it without. Step across, do it that way. Again, modification on your knee. Come down, then come up, step over, back on your knee, then go down, then come back up. Got it? And last but not least, okay, third one, uh, lunge and press. So, start with the bag above your head, you don't need to use the bag, remember, you can use whatever you want. Use the ball if, if you've only got a ball. Okay, so, step forward, press it. Now we're gonna switch lunge, holding the weight above your head, step back. The same leg that you just stepped back on, back on, it goes forward. Get down into your lunge position, lunge position. Come back up, switch lunge, keep it above your head, step back. This leg goes down. Variations, you can just do a lunge. That's fine. If you want to pick that up a bit, switch lunge. Okay, or you can use your ball. Okay, last one. So, feet on the ball, using your dip station. The more your knees are bent, the easier it is, okay? So, the further you take your legs out, the harder it is. If you want it even harder, if you're uber strong out there, get one leg on the ball. Nice straight body line. I'm out of breath. You're gonna come up, take it all the way back down. To make it a bit harder, you can do this, easier. Take the ball away, bring your legs in. Obviously, you don't have to come up as much. If you can only do that for now, that's absolutely fine. Just start somewhere. And that's it, four minutes. Wanna do the bodyweight one with me now? Oh yeah, let's do that one.